It is my honor to declare this convocation officially convened. Please take your seats and rest comfortably. And for those of you in the bleachers who haven't been here for a while, you might notice the seats are a lot more comfortable as this is our first week in the newly renovated Jack Simpson Gymnasium. So please be comfortable. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is Deborah Yedlin, and I am the Chancellor of the University of Calgary. Like every airline flight, we're going to start with a quick safety briefing, but there's no video. You just have to watch me. In the event of a fire alarm, please remain seated while we investigate. If an evacuation is required, we ask that you follow the instructions of the ushers and the marshals to the nearest stairwell and exit the building. Emergency exits are located on the upper track level behind me on the north wall and also at the court level. Life vests are under your seats. You can also exit the gymnasium on the upper level at the southwest corner, and if friends and family get a little too excited, oxygen masks will drop from the ceiling. <laughs> Acknowledging our history and traditional lands is an important step towards reconciliation with Indigenous peoples. Today we are gathered together on the traditional territories of the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, comprising the Siksika, Pakani, and Ganai First Nations, as well as the Tutina First Nation and the Stony Nakoda, including the Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Wesley First Nations. The city of Calgary is also home to Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. I would also like to note that the University of Calgary is situated on land adjacent to where the Bow River meets the Elbow River, and that the traditional Blackfoot name of this place is Mokinsis, which we now call the city of Calgary. 
It's a pleasure to welcome today's graduates who sit before me, along with your family and friends, to this afternoon's, to this morning's convocation ceremony. University President and Vice Chancellor Dr. Ed McCauley and I are pleased to welcome honorary degree recipient Dr. John Lacey. And I'm also pleased to welcome Jill Wyatt, Chair of the University of Calgary Board of Governors, members of our Board of Governors, University Senators, Dr. Drew Marshall, University of Calgary Provost and Vice President Academic, members of our senior leadership team, Jessica Revington, Students Union President, Mohammed Mansouri, Graduate Students Association President, and other executive members of our Students Union and Graduate Students Association. A warm welcome to past honorary degree recipient Marie, Mary Rosé de Coquet, and welcome to our distinguished graduate Philomena May. A special welcome to professors and staff from the Faculty of Arts and Graduate Studies. It is incredible to be here with all of you today for this important milestone. I know some of you are here under duress. Your parents made you come to your own convocation. Imagine, they might have had a little something to do with supporting you too along the way. But it is incredibly important for you to be here to mark this pivotal milestone which represents your individual journeys. And being here with your family also acknowledges that they were part of your journey. Take a moment and wave to your friends and family and the bleachers who are here today and who helped you along the way. Your degrees represent the culmination of years of hard work for some, the words of Winston Churchill might come to mind, blood, toil, tears, and sweat. So therefore, it's a time to celebrate and acknowledge your achievements. Today, it is all about you. Graduates, you are equipped with an education that will hold its own wherever you find yourselves as you embark on your respective journeys. To those graduating from the Faculty of Arts, you have unlimited possibilities of avenues you can pursue with this degree. For me, I started with a BA in English and Economics, which I like to call my Be Anything degree. A BA gives you the skills to think critically, to analyze, synthesize, and communicate, and to investigate how problems can be solved through viewing them by a myriad of lenses. My BA took me to Wall Street, to Bay Street, to a career in journalism. If anyone would have suggested this was in my future when I was sitting in your seats back in 1984, I never would have believed it. You learn how to intellectualize an argument or an issue, and that's how we come to the best solutions. And in, a polarized, in our polarized world of today, that is more important than ever. To our graduate students, I know how hard you've worked and the time and effort that has gone into elevating your course of study to the next level. Pursuing graduate studies demands curiosity and requires tenacity and a passionate dedication to your field. Be proud of everything you've accomplished. Graduates, part of getting an education is about asking questions and seeking answers and learning through that process. The whys and the hows have no limits in any discipline. To each of you graduating today, regardless of your field of study, those two simple words carry with them the tremendous potential of setting you on a path to better understand an issue or problem and where the solutions might lie. Graduates, your education is your ticket to an exciting future. How you use it is what matters. Don't feel constrained by the letters in your degree. Indeed, there's a newly published book, Why Generalists Triumph in a Specialized World, which argues breadth of experience rather than narrow specialization is what leads to success because you take time to explore your interests and find your strengths. And in fact, in academia, there's evidence to show that the most productive scientists are committed to serious hobbies. You can quiz your profs at your leisure. And according to one analysis, Nobel laureates are 22 times more likely to be amateur actors, dancers, magicians, or other, or other performance than any other scientist. So think about that as you go forward. And it just gives you one more thought. Despite what you might feel right now, there is no rush. Sometimes finding the sweet spot of where you really want to be takes time. When I was younger, my dad would tell me a story from the Talmud about a man walking to Jerusalem and reaching a fork in the road. He asks the man standing at that fork, 
which way should I go? The man said, if you take the road on the left, it is the short road that is long, but if you take the road on the right, it is the long road that is short. To the graduates of the University of Calgary's class of 2019, enjoy the journey, don't be afraid to take the long road, and congratulations. I now invite President and Vice Chancellor Ed McCauley to come forward and address convocation. Thank you, Chancellor Yedlin, and hello, everyone. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome all of you to Convocation 2019. This is the exclamation point at the end of an exciting academic year. It's a celebration of all the hard work and the dedication shown by our students throughout their learning experience. Most importantly, it's a chance to look forward to the future. The graduates who will walk across our stage today are extraordinary. They are the leaders and innovators that our world needs most right now. And they're the reason for everything we do at the University of Calgary. Graduates, we are so proud of you Congratulations to the class of 2019. I also want to join Chancellor Yedlin in welcoming the people who have made this convocation that much more special. Honorary degree recipient, Dr. John, Les Dr. John Lacey, distinguished graduate, Philomena May, and, and the many family of friends who are here today who have supported our students throughout their journey. In fact, it's because of the support of the community in this room that the University of Calgary is achieving its status as a great university. Great universities transform lives for the better. We exist to create a positive impact in society. The knowledge we create and the solutions we offer all tie back to this commitment. And our impact starts right here and right now on our campuses in the, student, in the experiences we provide our students. This includes the opportunities to learn from some of the best in their fields, to conduct research, to explore new forms of creativity and innovations. This is also about the opportunity to study abroad, to collaborate with peers, to help people in need and much more. The best university experience is one that empowers our students to grow in all areas of life. And this empowerment is our investment in their success, not only as learners, but also as good leaders and caring citizens. The University of Calgary is home to many people who contribute to this type of student experience. And I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge them. If I could ask all of our faculty and staff, both on stage and in the audience, could you please stand so we can acknowledge your contributions? Please stand. In addition, the members of our Board of Governors and Senate Chancellors past and present all set the stage for student experience. Could you please stand and be acknowledged? Thank you. I mentioned that this graduating class represents the leaders who will change the world for the better. How do I know this? Because the incredible talented students in this gymnasium have actually already done it. You're already leaders. You stepped up to tough challenges, taken the initiative, and made a difference in our community in so many ways. I'm gonna share two examples with you. Michael Luong graduates today with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Drama. Michael, could you give us a shout out or stand? Michael's been a very active contributor to the fine arts program at our university and beyond. Michael, just to say, just for a few examples, 
Michael was a stage manager and designer for productions on the main stage at the School of Creative and Performing Arts and ND Theatre, a student-run theatre company. He's worked with Cowtown Opera, a signature artistic company in our city, and he's fostered strong ties with the Ghost River Theatre, another remarkable program based here in Calgary and renowned on the national and international stage. Throughout these areas and many others, Michael has worked tirelessly to support his colleagues, nurture creativity, and build meaningful collaborations. He has a promising future ahead of him as he continues to follow his passion for excellence and leadership in the fine arts. Congratulations, Michael. Haley McDougall is graduating today from a special combined degree program, earning both a Bachelor of Arts in Dance and a Bachelor of Kinesiology. Haley, could you stand and give us a wave? Haley didn't make it. Haley didn't make it today. Okay. Well, I'm going to explain some of the really cool things that Haley has done, because this is spectacular. We introduced the program at the University of Calgary in 2014. It's one of a kind in Canada, and Haley is actually part of our very first graduating class. She's also the first to complete an honors thesis in the combined BA BKIN degree. With the support of her supervisor, Dr. Sarah Kenny, Haley studied Highland dancers to better understand their risk for in injury. Her findings were so unique that Haley will now present the International Association for Dance Medicine and Science in October. And she's submitting her manuscript for publication in a leading journal. In the meantime, Haley plans to complete a teaching certificate in healthy dance practice, and she has multiple upcoming dance performances in Europe. She may be there now. Or, <laughs> or given that she's graduating with a double degree, she may have chosen to actually graduate with kinesiology rather than the Faculty of Arts. It's the freedom of expression we give our students. <laughs> so can you enjoy thank you, Haley. There are so many other stories of leadership from this graduating class, which I clearly should have chosen from. <laughs> I wish I had the time to share all of them with you, but I don't. But the key thing with these stories I hope you see is it demonstrates the extraordinary achievements of our students. You've shown that good leaders are defined by their actions, their willingness to listen to others, to think critically, to show accountability and apply their skills for the benefit of society. And it's through your continued leadership that the University of Calgary creates its ultimate impact in the world. Graduands, you are the best ambassadors of the University of Calgary. And your graduation is just the beginning. You have an amazing journey ahead of you. And at each step of the way, I want you to remember that you are not alone. As you Calgary alumni, you become part of a family of leaders who are over 180,000 strong. These alumni like you care about impact. They care about finding solutions, enhancing respectful discussions, and improving our lives here in our city, in our country, and throughout the world. So many of you have already shown this commitment throughout your student experience. You are leading the way to a positive future. And wherever your path takes you next, I know that you will go far. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce Patrick Finn, our university orator, who will deliver the citation for our honorary degree recipient. John R. Lacey, please stand. Dr. John R. Lacey did his bachelor's degree at the Royal School of Mines and PhD in geology and engineering at Imperial College, London. His achievements extend across several fields and across international borders, but there is a central theme to his success, relationships. Relationships between complex systems of knowledge between economics and engineering, between governments with differing structures and interests, 
but most importantly, relationships between people. Dr. Lacey is known internationally for his work in oil and gas. He's a member of the Canadian Petroleum Hall of Fame, a member of the Russian Academy of Science, honorary consul general for the Kingdom of Thailand, and holds multiple board appointments. He began his working career with Triad Oil, later British Petroleum. He moved to Canada with that company and quickly gained a reputation as someone who thought globally. After 15 years working with an international corporation, he left to create his own company so he could expand his international engagement. His ability to navigate the complex legal and technical aspects of these relationships was matched with an ability to form long-lasting relationships with people around the world. Throughout his life, he has dedicated himself to serving the public good with a particular focus on the arts. In every respect, his career and his contributions are extraordinary, but they tell only part of the story. In both parts of his life, his most important relationship was with the love of his life, Naomi. Their lifelong love affair began when he proposed on their first date. For Naomi, accepting this proposal meant moving to Canada and living in their car during John's long trips to northern Alberta at the start of his career. John and Naomi shared a love of music and the arts from the very start of their adventure. The couple rescued the Calgary Philharmonic from bankruptcy and founded the Naomi and John Lacey Virtuoso program to help the CPO thrive artistically. The couple's philanthropy extended to healthcare and other sectors, and like John's businesses, to global causes. A donation to the Calgary Institute for the Humanities was launched in Naomi's memory and serves to promote the intellectual and educational values she held throughout her life. In all cases, John and Naomi gave more than money. They gave their time and expertise to help ensure the success of others. Eminent Chancellor, I present to you John R. Lacey, a global leader who built his success on forging close ties with people at home and abroad. On behalf of the Senate and the University of Calgary, I invite you to invest him with the degree Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. I admit you, Dr. John R. Lacey, to the degree Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa, and grant you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Chancellor Yedlin, President Macaulay, members of the Senate, members of the Board of Governors, faculty, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduates. I'd like to thank the university and my nominators for this honor. I may say it is a an incredibly emotional moment, this as far as I'm concerned. And I can tell you, I'm deeply touched to be recognized by my own community. It has been 66 years, almost to the day, since I graduated from the Royal School of Mines. Massive changes have occurred since that time. The growth of knowledge has become exponential. Employment has changed completely. When I graduated, I expected to get a job that would last me probably 40 years, and at the end of that 40 years, I would receive a pension and a gold watch. That isn't the case today. You can expect to change jobs a number of times, but you have completed a degree in your chosen field. Well done, you've got there, but not so fast. I'm, I'm going to suggest a few things for your future adventure through life. 
You have taken a critical first step. You have learned how to learn. To succeed, you must continue to learn. As knowledge base expands, so must your knowledge base. The learning skills acquired during your degree become your most important tool. As you move through your career, you will need to enhance your skills and may need to acquire new ones. Learning, learning, always more learning. This may lead you into a narrow specialization. My advice would be avoid this. <laughs> I think the world is in need of generalists. We desperately need generalists, people with a broad knowledge of a range of skills who can ensure the proper use of other specialists in projects to be developed. My career is an example of this. I graduated as a petroleum engineer. I then obtained a PhD in geology, then worked in finance and economics, shortly thereafter into marketing and transportation, and then into computing. A constant broadening of my knowledge base making me more able and more valuable to meet the needs of my clients. If one keeps learning new skills, life can become very exciting as challenges are added. I took my first job in the oil industry 68 years ago and still look forward every day to going to work and to see what new challenges the day will bring. That attitude is my blueprint for living. Life should be an adventure, always. Another thing I would like to emphasize is the never be afraid of challenges. One should always be challenged and should always seek to take responsibility and should encourage those who work with you to do the same. It is a wonderful stimulus to take on tasks which might appear to be beyond your capability. With literally a handful of staff, I have undertaken numerous tasks on multi-billion dollar transcontinental projects. Once, we were hired by a truly massive company. The chairman of that company interviewed me and said to me, how many employees do you have, John? I said, seven. He said, we have 700,000. Do you really think you can help us? I said, yes. He said, well, so do we. And I worked for them for more than 20 years. Do not be afraid of doing jobs beyond your current knowledge level. You have been taught how to learn, so you can acquire the necessary skills. All this helps you into the remarkable world of becoming a generalist, and I can't emphasize that too much. Be aware of your limitations, however, and never be afraid to seek advice from others. Outside your learning, don't forget your community. We all need the community to bring reality into our lives. Arts are a critical part of the community, and I have been involved in the arts in Calgary for many of the 63 years I've lived in Calgary. In fact, I've been lucky to even have been involved in a number of arts matters with the university. I encourage all of you to participate in the arts. The arts will repay you a thousandfold. Yes, at least a thousandfold. I didn't have an auspicious start 
or introduction to the arts. At the tender age of three years and nine months, I was fired, yes, fired, from the kindergarten orchestra. <laughs> I, I failed to hit the triangle properly. As a result, I have never played an instrument and can't read a note of music. But despite that, I, with the help of friends, assisted in the financial rescue of the Calgary Philharmonic Orchestra. Furthermore, with the guidance of my remarkable wife, we created a program to bring world-class musicians to Calgary uh, to perform and to give uh, master classes to music students. I truly believe we all need to get involved with the arts and in our community. So, graduates, well done, well done indeed for reaching a very important milestone in your life. But remember, keep learning, treat life as an adventure, take on challenges, take on risks, enjoy the arts, help your community, and as a result, I hope that your next 60 years has been, will be as much fun as my last 60 years have been. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lacey, for your resonant words of wisdom, reminding us of the importance of lifelong learning, of not being afraid to stretch beyond your comfort zone, perhaps bringing to mind the words of Eleanor Roosevelt, do something every day that scares you. And understanding the fact that education is about a transfer of knowledge that you can apply across disciplines so that you can become a generalist. And of course, finally, the, importance, the important role that the arts plays in our society as it has for centuries and will for centuries to come. Graduates, can you please stand? Eminent Chancellor, President, on behalf of the faculties of the university, I present these graduates and those in the convocation program who are unable to be at the ceremony today. I ask that they be pledged and admitted to the University of Calgary degrees that they have earned. As a graduate of this university, you join a worldwide kinship of educated persons who have earned opportunities and responsibilities of leadership and service in their chosen communities. To recognize this affinity, we invite each graduate to stand and join with the thousands who have gone before in making the University of Calgary's graduate pledge. The pledge is not an oath, but it is a solemn expression of your intention to apply your learning and experience positively for the widest benefit. I invite all past graduates of the University of Calgary to support these newest University of Calgary alumni by also standing and affirming a graduate's obligations and ideals. Could you please stand in the audience, former graduates of the University of Calgary. Thank you. <laughs> Superb. <laughs> it, is, it is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished graduate, Philomena May, to lead the graduate pledge. Please remain standing. Philomena graduated from our university with a Bachelor of Arts in Leisure, Tourism, and Society, including a concentration in Latin America and a minor in Italian Studies. At age 24, she launched her own financial planning practice called Philo, uh, Philo Financial Solutions. The company has expanded significantly through her passion for sharing financial knowledge. Philomena is also a dedicated contributor to the community. She serves as president of the Calgary Calabrese Cultural and Heritage Society 
and she is mentor to business students at our university. Please join me in welcoming Philomena May. Graduates, I will now lead you in the graduate pledge on the inside back cover of your program. Please follow along and also read aloud. When we finish, you will also say along with me, this is my pledge. As a graduate of the University of Calgary, wherever my life may take me, I will use my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability for the well-being of my communities and for the advancement of learning and the public good. I will conduct myself with honesty and integrity, taking responsibility for my actions and respecting the rights, opinions, and dignity of all peoples. I will maintain my competency and keep abreast of developments in my chosen fields. I will strive to better my communities through good citizenship and active participation. I will be a loyal ambassador for my university and will seek to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. I will honor all who have shared their knowledge with me and will, in my turn, share my knowledge and experience with those who enter my field or come under my direction. In all my dealings, I will endeavor to be known as a person of honor and repute, ever seeking to learn the peace of good conscience. This is my pledge. By the authority of the statutes of Alberta and upon the recommendation of our faculties, I admit you to the University of Calgary degrees you have earned and grant you the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to those degrees. Congratulations, you've done it, that's the formal part. Please be seated. We will start with a formal presentation of degrees and for uh, family members and friends in the audience, this is your chance to either cheer and or embarrass your graduate as they cross the stage. Feel free. Good morning. My name is Robin Yates. I'm the Interim Dean and Vice Provost of Graduate Studies. During their time at the University of Calgary, graduate students not only acquire knowledge through their own learning, they distribute knowledge through their teaching activities, they also mobilize and translate knowledge through interactions with the community and with industry. But most notably, many of them create new knowledge through their original research. Whilst all graduate students are registered at the Faculty of Graduate Studies, their true academic homes are in the Faculty of Study. As such, I'd like to join my colleagues from the Faculty of Arts to honor the recipients of graduate degrees here today. Eminent Chancellor, by the authority of the Council of Graduate Studies, we have the honor to present the following graduates. For the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, Nazaria Robles Bastida. Ofer Bernstein. Aiden Wilfred James Buckland. Katie Ann Demansky. Allison Wayman Doyle. Kirsten Louise Ellison. David Adam Mayers. Brendan Barrymore McAllister.
Jennifer Lindsay Swan. the degree, Ma Master of Arts, Madison Brianna Bishop. <laughs> Amanda Lynn Davis. Cassandra Dawn Riabko. For the degree, Master of Music, Christine Chen. Chinley Howell Hinake. Laura Catherine Jones. For the degree, Master of Public Policy, Andrew Senya. For the degree, Master of Science, Annie Hay. Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2019 from the Faculty of Graduate Studies. Madam Chancellor, Mr. President, Dr. Lacey, Ms. May, eminent guests, family, friends, and of course, graduates. My name is Richard Sigurdsson. I'm Dean of the Faculty of Arts. And on behalf of all of my colleagues in the faculty, we wish sincerely to congratulate each and every one of the tremendous uh, graduates we have today. Uh, we look forward to hearing about all of your wonderful uh, achievements as you go forward. And as Dr. Lacey has uh, said, we look forward to hearing how you continue to learn and to achieve wonderful things as a graduate of the University of Calgary. And please, please stay connected as an alumni. With that, eminent chancellor, on behalf of the authority of the Faculty of Arts Council, we present the following graduates. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Art History and a Bachelor of Music in Integrated Studies, both with distinction, Leighton Roman Allen Fenske. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Communication and Culture, Julia Da Silva. Atia Iman Datu. Sarah Jody Gale Diaz Dalish. Naomi Fleur Hagstrom. <laughs> Riley Ray Kruger. Roja Reina Mooney Lawrence. <laughs> Chloe Treva McNeil. <laughs> Receiving two degrees, the Bachelor of Arts in Multidisciplinary with Distinction, a Bachelor of Education, Avni Kaur Sakan. <laughs> Leah Marie Shevkenik. Christopher Lee Wozniak. Dana Louise Kramer, first class. Rachel Ha, first class. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Communication and Media Studies, first class, and a Bachelor of Arts in Archaeology, with distinction, Andrew Casey Thomas. Monica Badarovsky. Caitlin Linnae Bennett. <clears throat> Robin Alexandra Betts. Megan Dawn Burton. Chloe Jane Campbell with distinction. Melissa Chan. Christiana Cruz. Sunny Singh Dalawal. Harjart Kar Dillon. Olabusola Aberachukwa Fapajuo. Rita Fatima. Sophie Louise Fraser with distinction. James Michael Gates. Nolan Hayes. Reham Jamil Jadala. Jennifer Courtney Lasage. Raven, Raven Lee Lindgren. Erica Marie Lamzon. 
Denise Ana Macalino. Iana Jimena Mejia Viegas. Jade Alexis Mortar. Sumit Manjal. Kaylin Murphy. Donna Pejan Ung. Jessica Nitch. Andrea Perez Leotode. Sarah Page Philpot. Madison Valerie Pilling. Claire Jeanette Renee. Amanda Nicole Sabelli. Kendall Elizabeth Showers. Bailey Stewart. Valerie Titov. Larissa Vicente Ferreira. Rachel Kelsey Welsh. Samantha Maria Wills Wilson. Shi Shong. Venus Fung. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Communication Studies, Gloria Excelsis Beltran. Megan Page Bouchard. Courtney Jane Burton. Mario Franca Castronova. Russell Mark Christie. Brianna Houston Gish. Lee Taylor Goddard. Courtney Hannah James. Madison Marie Kruger. Olawatoni Alawagbemasola Lacuna. Morgan Taylor Marshall. Kan Dong Nguyen Tran with distinction. Kala Novella Lauritsen with distinction. Shakara Don Orr. Shruti Chopra. Rhea Desret Henry. Margo Jolie Penno. Ronan Key. Jennifer Christina Rowland. Willow Marlene Rushfelt with distinction. Ida Shobery. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Dance, Melissa Lorraine Kashuba. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts Honors in Film Studies, First Class, Amanda Bakai Olson. Liam Scott Hardy. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts Honors in Geography, Melissa Michelle Archbold. Lawrence Collingwood Everett. Glenn Alexander Harrison, first class. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Geography, Ying Yuan Deng. Maria Granados. Inda Gurakova. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Tiffany Tunkey. Emma Xia, with distinction. Cindy Lynn Zarn, with distinction. Brian Cho Heng Kuk, first class. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts Honors in Sociology, Darren Sophia Touch. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Sociology with First Class and a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology with Distinction, Rebecca Jade Wood. <laughs> Tanya Guadalupe Alvarenga. <laughs> Amor Amoroso. <laughs> Jenna Ray Antoniak. <laughs> Aware Dung Arobe. 
Courtney Muriel ba Bay with distinction. <laughs> Daryl Balba. <laughs> Courtney Page Cameron. <laughs> Ashley Patricia Cavers. <laughs> Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Amber Nina Jia Ling Chan. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in International Relations, Jenna Aladina. <laughs> Receiving two degrees, the Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and a Bachelor of Arts in International Relations, Marissa Duleen Mayburney. <laughs> Michael Hunter Chick. <laughs> James Tristane Christy Brooks, with distinction. <laughs> Zayev Kuzin. Corrine Katrina Dylan, Laura Andrea Duran Medina, Dora Fu, Lauren Forrest, Kennedy Catherine French Toller, Emmanuel Julio Gallegos Cote. Sumaira Afros Islam. <laughs> Leah Yilma Kadane. Shane Earl Letheby with distinction. <laughs> Annie Lu Dang. <laughs> Lane Spencer Miller. <laughs> Leanne Carl Dumag Molina. <laughs> Justine Danielle Monroe. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in International Relations and a Bachelor of Commerce, Matthew Scott Johannes Overdevest. <laughs> Callie Pham. <laughs> Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and a Bachelor of Arts in International Relations, Renim Saleh. <laughs> Brianna Stalkup. Magda Shusko. Julia Trofimova. Hannah Ishutu Gorfu. Lydia Patrick Uda. Nasia Katu Abumiku. Kyle Van Kluster. Deborah Wong. <laughs> Leah Michelle Wiley with distinction. <laughs> Chin Young. <laughs> Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Law and Society and a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science with first class and with distinction, Kaylee Robin Severson. For the degree Bachelor of Arts Honors in Law and Society, Charlotte Melissa Wu, first class. <laughs> Marielle Abader. <laughs> Hannah Mofera Mongong Algibli. <laughs> Jasbury Cora Atwal. <laughs> Yulia Beromova, with distinction. Jessica Bakri. <laughs> Ashlyn Danielle Burgraff. <laughs> Keely Lauren Chambers. <laughs> Tamana Tammy Darwish with distinction. <laughs> Ross Robert DeClerc. <laughs> Gersimran Dillon. Manpreet Dillon. <laughs> Nabila Hisham Farid. <laughs> Jamie Lee Hollingsworth. <laughs> Shannon Margaret Hawthorne. Larissa Claire Holt. Mariah Tasnuva Hoke. Nima Khalili. 
Natasha Lorena Lee. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Law and Society with distinction and a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy with distinction, Diana Liu. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Law and Society and a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Christian David Lutz Orozco. Sarah Elizabeth McMillan. Shelby Lane Nugent. Joey Kwan. Sabra Rafixi. Laura Del Val Salazar Figueroa. Anne Marie San Juan. Dipali Sharma. Vipin Sharma. Sakshi Singh. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Women's Studies and a Bachelor of Arts in Law and Society, Victoria Dawn Stevenson. Yeah. Chelsea Sarah Tolpanen with distinction. Bradley James Vegso. Elaine J. Ate for the degree Bachelor of Arts Honors in Psychology, First Class. Tom Christensen, First Class. Roxana Laura Kojakariu, First Class. Rita Diaz. Ashley Nicole Felsky, First Class. Ali Hazari, First Class. Hillary Catherine Herman, first class. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Psychology, first class, and a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Visual Studies with distinction, Laura Hernandez. Claire Hickey. Malika Khan Kakar, first class. Jennifer Jong Yon Kyu, first class. Bertrand Kwan, first class. Kate Youngin Lee, first class. Brianna Denise Saint Germain. Liam Johan Davis Walsh. For the degree Bachelor of Arts in Music, Mackenzie Cleland. Andrew Ian Gordon McLennan. Kara Nanya. Christine Michelle Elizabeth Novitsky, first class. Pooja Rani Sohal, first class. Karen Tang, first class. For the degree Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Jan Kristen Salazar Banta. Abdullah Salahuddin Bernier with distinction. Catherine Nicole Boyce. Alexandra Ann Katharina Servania Cabrera. Chrissy Junwan Cham. Robert Daniel Comer. Emily Maxine Gibson. Jade Francis Groot, with distinction. Miranda May Horburn, with distinction. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and a Bachelor of Commerce, Sally He. Lucienne Diane Henry, with distinction. Benjamin John Dunlap. <laughs> Emilia Herrera. Gabriella Hogan. <laughs> Kayla Dawn Silver Hughes. Jonah Samuel James Humphreys, with distinction. Eunice Mingolo. Rachel Elizabeth Petty. Kayla Liking Leung. 
Eunice Siki Mock. William Brian Murray. Kelsey Larissa Osland. Jaden Rachelle Parup with distinction. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Sociology, Brooke Pamela June Nielsen. Andrena Nunez. Tobechi Nameka Wobogar. Catherine Alexander June Peterson with distinction. Sharon Sue Pilmeister. Madison Brooks Prosser with distinction. Brittany Page Rosenberg. Kira Brianne Schnell. Barrett Gordon Schultz with distinction. Anna Sinek. Jinghui Tan. Joyce Tang. For the degree Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, Kevin Cheng. Elena Chwastik. Eric Ann Crean. Shelby Megan Curzon. Marina Suzanne Davis with distinction. Lindsay Lorene Abishek with distinction. Harvey France. Kane Lloyd Christopher Franson. Baldi Kaur Gill. Manvir Kaur Gill. Taylor Green with distinction. Felicia Guan. Sarah Nicole Hitchings. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology with distinction and a Bachelor of Science in Psychology with distinction, Martika Inns. Keiko Natalka Navarro Jarvis. Gandadeep Kaur Jaswal. Christopher Philip Young with distinction. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in East Asian Language Studies and a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, Yu Han Kwang. Emily Catherine Latimer with distinction. Jung Eun Lee. Ryan Si Hee Lim. Bing Bing Lin with distinction. Jian Magne. Michelle Mack. Elias Jacob Manalokos. For the degree, Bachelor of Communication and Media Studies, Cheyenne Boulding. Justina Marie Contenti with distinction. Emily Elsa Fields. Sharon Sandu. Mandy Volk. Abunuulawa Adewunmi Adewala. Furkan Ahmed Butt. Kelsey Ann Farrell. For the degree Bachelor of Fine Arts in Dance, Kaylee Joey Che with distinction. Chandra Kramov Kerwalik. Michaela Suzanne Haynes with distinction. Megan Marie Cock Cook with distinction. Sarah Rose Mitchell. For the degree Bachelor of Fine Arts and Drama, Suveksha Mbavrai. Priscilla Daigle with distinction. Nicole Dickinson. Ivana Uluchi Ehekwoba. 
Nicole Sylvia Jean Logan, with distinction. Michael Duxi Long. Nicole Stevie Dawn McIntyre. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Fine Arts and Drama with distinction and a Bachelor of Commerce with distinction, Marissa Ann Rogavin. Megan Elizabeth Stefan. For the degree, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Umay Alieva. Angela Androshashuk. Miriam Casey with distinction. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Art, Arts in Sociology and a Bachelor of Science in Psychology, both with distinction, Taslim Dewani. Joanne Maurice Ayo Gagaho. Robin Charlene Harris with distinction. Abigail Nina Igba. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Psychology and a Bachelor of Arts in Law and Society, Carlo Burns Isola. Lauren Page McEachern. Michael Robert Momen. Denisha Nandkumar. Logan Nipus. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and a Bachelor of Arts in Law and Society, Lynn Kim Nguyen. Jean-Luc Ong. Taylor Dakota Patton. Ira Rana. Caitlin Ann Redpath. Ya Lee. Bria Renee Rosvik. Kimberly Ann Rude. Freyba Said Ahmad Shah. Kelsey Danielle Smith. Alicia May Solovyov. Darian Michelle Tattersall. Luol Thorpal. Uyeme Uban Ukpe. Natalie Vies. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and a Bachelor of Science in Plant Biology, Isabel Maria Catherine Wu. Keanu Yip. Mandy Zhang. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts in Urban Studies, Brainard Bellin M.A. <laughs> Alyssa Carruthers with distinction. Natalie Yuenting Chung. Gurkaran Singh Dhaliwal. Ravina Cordill. <laughs> Yuan Yuan Guan. Sarah Grace Haiti with distinction. Dalyar Jazayiri. Danielle Angeline Kim with distinction. Amanda Lauder. Joel David Laycock. Jenny Lee. Ryan Thyra Locke with distinction. Robin Ann Melvin. James Franklin Nanaska, with distinction. Janine May Pahang. Kyle Martin Peel. Gabriella Andrea Ponset, with distinction. Johanna Kristen Ray, with distinction. Emily Catherine Reinhardt with distinction. Lialin San Juan. Garen Sharp. 
Jasmine Zara Umar, with distinction. Alex Weinstein. Mariah Lee Wilson. Vladislav Yasukovich. For the degree, Bachelor of Arts Honors in Women's Studies, Spencer Harley Belanger, first class. Nolan Everett Hill. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts in Women's Studies and a Bachelor of Arts in Social and Cultural Anthropology, Charlotte Aileen Mitchell. For the degree, Bachelor of Communication and Culture, Vanessa Georgia Hallison. Jacob Paul Hardy. Colin Kenneth McLeod. For the degree, Bachelor of Fine Arts Honors in Visual Studies, Ka Kajal Kaur Ajla, first class. Chantal Jeanette Snodgrass, first class. For the degree, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Visual Studies, Razia Elba. Erezu Amiri Gazgara. Polo Cheng. For the degree, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Visual Studies with distinction, Alana Mahari Kerr. Dawn Adele Mitchelson with distinction. Sandra Jean Sharkey. Wen Sun. Jessica Wen. Jasmine Trajildi Wong with distinction. For the degree, Bachelor of Music in Integrated Studies, Melanie Gail Dimitrik. Christopher Allen Kozak. For the degree, Bachelor of Music in Performance, Louisa Brianna Adria with distinction. Suzanne Hoon. Mirabel Jian. Megan Ashley Mazil with distinction. Maria Mirak Medova with distinction. Carlos Eduardo Tinoco. For the, for the degree Bachelor of Science in Geography, Virda Vasya Adila. Eric Cheng, Maxime Kuru, Dustin Dodd with distinction, Devon Lawrence Goodwin, Navneil Graywall, Fergus Peter Larkin, Martin Jan Pohl, Sean Jackson Sugden, Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Natural Sciences and a Bachelor of Science in Geography, both with distinction, Zoe Louise Walker. For the degree, Bachelor of Science Honors in Psychology, Ali Amid Abdullah, first class. Shailen Morgan Carr, first class. Christopher Albert Clark. Chloe Jacqueline Devereaux, first class. <laughs> Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Science Honors in Psychology with first class, and a Bachelor of Arts in Social and Cultural Anthropology with distinction, Aya Abrim Abdalia. <laughs> Julia Minji Kim, first class. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Science Honors in Psychology, first class, and a Bachelor of Science in Natural Sciences, with distinction, John Michael Malik. <laughs> Courtney Lee Miller, first class. 
receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Science Honours in Psychology with First Class and a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology with Distinction, Brett Michael Rothery. Morgan John Schaefer, First Class. Alicia Marie Taylor, First Class. Nahiri Jadavji, with distinction. Gegonjo Claire, with distinction. Grace Chloe Anies Nutumba Lumwala. Sherry Ma, with distinction. Aline Marriott, with distinction. Natalie Jane McMurray. Cassandra Mahino. Jonathan Michael Milner. Receiving two degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and a Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Shahid Murji. Olaladi Olatoyan Ogonzola. Janice Onison. <laughs> Shannon Colleen Pamuski with distinction. Kanjan Guru Pandya. Gabrielle Louise Kaburian Rivera. Cassidy Jessica C. Sandra Schlaff with distinction. Sierra Alexandra Sturzer with distinction. Karen Nikki Karenpong Tolentino. Emma Tolsdorf with distinction. Madison Page Lily Wilson. Pauline Wu. For the degree, Bachelor of Science in Science, Technology, and Society, Boris Mihailovich. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, that is the graduating class of 2019 from the Faculty of Arts. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. We are now at the point of the ceremony where we honor some students for special recognition, those who have excelled in their studies to the point where they're singled out as a medal winner. The details of the medals that we're awarding at this ceremony are, and the names are in your convocation program on page 30. Eminent Chancellor, and President, it's my honor to present to you, the Platform Party graduates, and everyone else assembled here today, the following medal winners. The winner of the Faculty of Arts Silver Medallion in Arts is Razia Alba. Just The winner of the Faculty of Arts Silver Medallion in the Bachelor of Arts Multidisciplinary Studies is Avnit Sekhan. And the Faculty of Arts Silver Medallion in Communication, Media and Film is Rachel Ha. <laughs> and
And the winner of the Silver Medallion in the School of Creative and Performing Arts is Maria Marak Madova. And the silver medallion in geography is Emily Reinhardt. And the winner of the silver medallion in philosophy is Spencer Belanger. And the silver medallion in psychology goes to Brett Rothery. And last but not least, the silver medallion in sociology goes to Tammy Darwish. Thank you to all of you attending this convocation ceremony and supporting our graduates. It's been a pleasure to see such accomplished people cross the stage. I know the world is in good hands. Thank you to our esteemed faculties of arts and graduate studies. Congratulations to our honorary degree recipient, Dr. John Lacey. I've had the great pleasure to get to know John over the years and I've seen him in action. He is the quintessential example of a Renaissance man the perfect combination of the scientist and the artist. Whether it's music, art, theater, John, together with his late wife, Naomi, has been a tireless advocate and patron of Calgary's arts community, believing at his core that society is the poorer without the artistic world and the boundaries it stretches. He has given tirelessly, both of time and treasure, ensuring that Calgary has a thriving arts community for the benefit of current and future generations. This city, and the University of Calgary is much richer because of the efforts of Dr. John Lacey, and he has set a very important example for all of us to follow. Congratulations to our medal winners, Avneet, Rachel, Maria, Emily, Brett, and Tammy. Our convocation ceremony was accompanied by music thanks to some very talented individuals. Thank you to Alf Miller, our piper, Elder Rod Hunter, who performed the honor song, Gretchen Castronovo for performing the national anthem, and the Sidewinders for providing music. A special thank you to all the faculty and staff and volunteers who have worked so hard behind the scenes to make today's convocation ceremony unfold smoothly. To our graduates, throughout this ceremony, we have recognized your years of dedication and commitment to your studies and extracurricular activities. You've worked hard, and we're so proud of all that you accomplished, and so you should be too. Today is a celebration. It is a time to mark for the rest of your lives. Take photos with your families and your, with your families and your friends and cherish all the memories you've made along the way. You have done it. You are now officially University of Calgary graduates. So go out and enjoy the day and celebrate. One housekeeping note before we depart. I would like to ask the graduates to please exit from the floor up the bleacher stairs to the track level. 
after the academic platform and platform parties make their way to the back of the gym. All audience guests, please remain in your seats until the procession is over, and you may then join your graduates upstairs. I declare this convocation closed. Please stand for the departure of our processions.